I actually have 15 legendary worker, and I have upgraded only one of them since I am using all of the clan bronze coins not to buy legendary worker, but to buy my hero shards, and that is making it hard for me to gain more and more legendary or seasoned workers. But for today's video, I would like to share my sources of legendary worker and how do we upgrade them. And also, what worker do really needs an upgrade? All of those questions for today's video. But before we jump in, like this video and subscribe to our channel if you're new to this channel. Today is the 40th day of us playing the game of Viking Rise, and we are still in the Chief Hall level 20, but I think it's time to level up our Chief Hall since the level 4 pier has been open up and ready to loot. That means we are now ready to go to Zone 3 of the map. On our heroic monument, we are now down to four frames, and I am so excited to get this one of the coolest chat bubbles in the game. I hope I would get another two the next day. The event have 49 days left, so make sure you participate in this event since it has cool, free stuff that you can enjoy. But anyway, for our golden worker, I currently have 15 of them. I could have 52 golden workers for now if I am not spending my clan bronze coins to get my hero shards. Since we are F2P player, we really spending clan bronze coins from the clan shop. And that is why we have only level up one of our golden workers. So how do we level up our golden work? Before we answer that question, I would like to show you first, where can we get our golden worker? Today is the last day of the tribe mobilization. And this event is one of the event where you can get golden worker. You just have to collect all of these chests. And you can see here that you can have golden worker shards. You just have to have 10 golden worker shards so you can be able to have one random legendary worker. So take note of that. If you can't reach the final chest, then just make sure to at least claim these four chests for it has the legendary worker shards. The bad side of that is you can claim random legendary shards. You can't select. But on the clan merchant, you can see here that one of the items is the seasoned worker or the golden worker, and you can actually select what worker you want to buy. You can refresh the items here if you don't like the items that were displayed. The bad side of that is it is too expensive, but you can buy golden worker in the clan camp, which can only cost you 40,000 clan bronze coins. So those are the three sources of my golden workers. Before we go to leveling up our golden worker, I will tell you my list of what worker should you level up and why. So this is not to say that you must not level up those who will not be mentioned in my list, but it's up to you. Here are my list of worker that needs to be level up. The first one is the beast pen worker. For me, this is actually crucial since most of the event in the game requires consuming of trap points. Beside, it's really hard to get legendary mount if we are short on trap points. This is, I think we can prioritize to level up since they will work for us in the game continuously, unlike the researcher and builders. Next is the trainer. You have four barracks and four trainers. I would like the worker of this to be upgraded since we lose troops in the PVP battle. We will continuously train troops in the game. So I think it would be good for us to level up our trainers. In the long run, you're going to need to forge your equipment, and the more you level up your equipment, the more it consumes time to forge. So I think we will be needing to level up our forger also. Those three workers are I think the one that needs to level up. That's just my suggestion, since the researcher and builder will sun stop to build in the game, but you can still dismiss them once it happens but I don't know what will happen to the consumed emblem. If you want to upgrade your golden worker, then you have to accumulate at least 50 workers for you to be able to unlock these two tabs here. 
the Ascend Worker, and the Worker Dismissal. Those two tabs will show up here once you reach 50 plus workers. The maximum number of worker that you can have is 52. To Ascend a Worker, you just have to dismiss any of your legendary workers. In the Ascend Worker tab, once we select a worker that we want to ascend, it will require us this emblem. To have this emblem, we need to dismiss or recycle one of the legendary workers that we have. So, for today's video, I am going to dismiss this errand worker. Okay, so now that we have one emblem, we can now ascend any of our golden worker, which for me, I would really love to level up my beast pen worker, so I would choose him to level up. Now, once you reach the two stars, and you would like to level it up to three stars, I think it would require you to have at least two emblem. Sorry that I can't show it up to you guys, since clan bronze coins is so expensive to me, but those are the things you need to know about the golden or seasoned worker. If you have some things to clear up, or some things to add up, please share them to us using the comment box below. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more Viking Rise tips.